Ladies and gentlemen, how are you today? <clears throat> I will <clears throat> let everybody join us. Grab myself some water. Hello, if you're here, can't always tell if you're here. There used to be this little, hi Kelly, welcome. I love having you here. Um, on regular Facebook, I had this little eyeball <laughs> and it says the number of people watching. <laughs> but when I do it from my computer, it doesn't tell me unless you make a comment. So always grateful for the comments, always grateful for the highs and the likes. Good morning, Melissa. Nice to have you here on a Thursday in the morning. How did I get so lucky? <laughs> New job, huh? Get to set your own hours. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Awesome. Sweet. Let's see if anybody else wants to jump on with us. Hmm. Probably just stop, start talking. I'm so good at starting to talk and then people showing up. <laughs> I've really been looking at this thing lately, um, vulnerability. And, um, <laughs> awesome. I'm so happy for you, Melissa. Congratulations. Melissa got a new job, so <laughs> that's why she's here <laughs> at this time. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I've been looking at this thing, vulnerability, right? We've, um, we all have been in access, and so we've been in some classes, and it's all been tossed around a little bit. And one of the things that I've been looking at is I, I can I can recognize and see all the places where I am vulnerable. And then I can also still see places where I'm not. And um, somebody yesterday asked me, what's your story? And I was like, what is my story? <laughs> I don't know if I have a story. And I just kind of went into the basics of like, you know, um, I'm holistic health practitioner. I've studied 21 different modalities, blah, blah, blah. Um, but when I found access, I changed, changed everything for me. Like I don't stress about money anymore. Um, and how does it get better? And I have an amazing creation ship and how does it get better? And like so much has improved in my life. And then she went, okay, so what had you going to study all those different modalities? And in that second, I knew, I was like, oh, I do have a story. <laughs> I've studied 21 modalities. Interestingly enough, I started 21 years ago. 21 years ago, um, I thought I was broken. I, wow. Oh, uh -oh. really believe something was innately wrong with me. Interesting that it's bringing up tears today. Welcome to Vulnerability 101. You're like, wait, 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 we're supposed to be pulling. Don't worry, we will. <laughs> There's a point to this. <laughs> um, vulnerabilities. And I, yeah, I really thought something was innately wrong with me. And when I thought something was innately wrong with me, I went on this search to like find the thing that would fix me. I studied 21 different modalities trying to find the one that would fix me. Um, still always kind of feeling like I was broken. Actually, let me reframe that. I've studied, I studied 19 modalities looking for the one that would fix me. 
by the 20th one, I found access consciousness and um, realized I wasn't broken. But I spent years, I mean, 15 years feeling like something was really wrong. And I really, uh, I had to find the thing that would make it all better and make it all go away. And that was the gift of finding access consciousness was that I finally realized I wasn't broken. And in that also realized nobody else was broken either. So all the places where you might still think that you're broken and that something's wrong with you. Would you just try and uncreate that today, please? <laughs> right around good bad pot pot all night, shorts, boys and meals. There is nothing wrong with you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. Twenty first time the charm, right? How's he put in this? So what if we came to these the re even the rest of these polls and um really started to look at okay, if I wasn't broken or I wasn't trying to fix a problem that I think I have that I don't really have, <laughs> then what would I like to choose or I like to create? What would I like to pull into my life? And I'm not saying that we don't still have stuff come up, you know, and that you, but it's like, it's different when it's the innate problem that you constantly think that you're trying to solve that doesn't actually even exist. Because if you're not wrong and you're not broken, then I'll tell you a little secret. You don't have any problems. <laughs> Just something to ponder. <laughs> and thank you again for those of you who are here and those of you listening in the near future. And so then let's pull. Either finding a comfortable seat or finding or laying down wherever you are, just being comfortable and including your body in this journey today. Maybe this journey is To create something greater for yourself. Maybe this journey is to just become aware of the greater possibilities that are available to us all. Maybe this pull is to feel better in some way in your body. And maybe it's just to know what you know and to finally acknowledge what you know today. And that you've known it all along. It wasn't missing. It wasn't something that was hidden from you. You might have hidden it from yourself from a, for a time. However, it wasn't really hidden. You just didn't want to quite see it. And that's not wrong either. And I'd like to invite you to imagine yourself standing in a field. And this field is a safe and calm place that is where you are not wrong in any way. So there is no wrongness, there are no problems. There is no brokenness that is even allowed into this field. As you enter this field, you leave all of that behind and step into this field, this field of possibilities, this field of oneness, wonderment. What else is truly possible? 
if you didn't have all of those filters and those places where you still judge yourself, what could you perceive, what could you know, what could you receive today? So don't worry if you want to pick them up when you're done. You can when you leave the field of possibilities. But in the field of possibilities, you are not allowed to have any of that today. Leave it all behind. And in this field of possibilities, I want you to just notice all of the colors and the smells and the, the way this, the air feels on your skin or the sun or even the rain. Maybe it's raining in your field. Whatever is showing up in your field of possibilities, Receive it all now. Notice every little flower or every little plant or tree that surrounds this field or is in the field is different somehow. Not wrong, not broken. just different. The earth does not judge when one of the branches of its trees breaks off or lightning strikes and there's a small fire or a large fire for that matter. The earth does not have a point of view that the ice in the North Pole is melting. It just continues to be, continues to be its magical self. It does not have the point of view that somehow now it is broken and needs to be fixed. That is our point of view that we keep projecting at it. So if we were not always projecting that the earth was broken and somehow needed to be fixed, what else would be possible for the earth? If we did not have the point of view that our bodies were broken and needed to be fixed, what else would be possible for our bodies? And then again, allowing this field of possibilities to have the energy of possibilities rise up from the earth, from the plants, from the trees, from the earth keepers. Notice all of the fairies and the elves and the woodland elves and whatever whatever other earth keeper creatures you might be a bit, um, aware of. There could be ogres, there could be um, giants, there could be little people, there could be small creatures and bugs and plants and animals, right? Allow all of the earth keepers to join you in this field of possibilities, in this field of oneness, the kingdom of we, where we all come together and can be a different energy, an energy of possibilities that allows us to become the invitation that, of change. And notice all of the energy that is flowing to you and from you and through you and above you and below you and falling down upon you and 
filling you up from the tips of your toes all the way to the outer edges of your very being. Just a seeing how this energy, this it flows so freely because everyone and everything that is in that field with you is in a field of possibilities without their problems and believing they need to be fixed or are broken. Allow that energy to rise up, to fill you up, to flow over. Allow it to fill the field of possibilities even more and allow now that field of possibilities to start to filter out as if a pebble in a pond and ripples out. Allow that field of possibilities that you are all aware of and all vibrating right now to vibrate out to all beings and the planet as a whole and the universe and all its splendor. When you get the memo that you are not broken, you do not have to be fixed. Then you give people permission to do the same, to be the same, to choose the same, to choose a different possibility. It is not, does not happen from something you do. You don't have to go save the whales. You just be a different possibility. You be that invitation. And even if you only get it for a mere second that you are whole, perfect, and complete, exactly the way you are and exactly the way you are not, right here and right now, it is then, in that second, you are the drop. You are the pebble in the pond and it ripples out. It only takes a second to be that pebble, to be that ripple of possibility. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to contain it. You will float in and out of it. You will still find problems probably later today, and that's okay. <laughs> Right here, right now, you get to be that pebble. You get to be that vibration of change, that frequency of change that changes the whole world. Simply by being you. You are whole, perfect, and complete, exactly the way you are, and exactly the way you are not. And if I could hear what you if you could hear what I just said, I walk off a wealthy person. And you would walk off a wealthy person. But I'll repeat it, because I don't mind. You are whole, perfect, and complete, exactly the way you are, and exactly the way you are not, right here, right now. Even with your warts, even with your ingrown toenails, even with your skin stuff, whatever it is, your balding hair, your thinning hair, your no hair. The times when you're a jerk, the times when you're a bitch, it's all here. None of those make you wrong. None of those make you broken. They just make you a being here on the planet, trying to figure it out just like everybody else. Welcome to the planet. This is your first lesson. <laughs> if only we could be told this and brought up this way all the time. You are whole, perfect, and complete, exactly the way you are and exactly the way you're not. And all of the yeah buts that you might have going on in your mind, they are a lie. They are a lie that you keep telling yourself. They're a lie that you keep buying. They are a lie that somebody else told you a long time ago. 
and you bought as real and true, would you please destroy and uncreate and return all the lives to senders with consciousness attached? Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all men's rules, boys and girls. And you are a different ripple. You is the pebble of you are is so different from the person who is the other pebble in the pond causing the ripple that they are causing. And if we all, even those of us just on this pole today, could be an individual ripple, imagine all the other ripples that would intersect and how we could all be sending out ripples of change and possibility. that might turn into a wave and a tidal wave of possibility because we are all willing, even if just for a second, to be ourselves, unapologetically ourselves. Anywhere where you might be resisting or starting to say, well, that's okay for the person next to me, but not for me. Would you please take those deepest barriers down, even the ones you don't know about, and receive more of the possibility and more of the light that you truly be. That lightness, that joy, that ease that you have in times that you can't even understand why you have them. <laughs> that is when you're being you. When it's in the DMV line, or when it's in the woods, or on your bike, or on your skis, right? Doesn't matter where you're being you. It doesn't matter where you're living this possibility. When you live this possibility, you gift that frequency to the world as a possibility. Every time you can go into that space and be you, you gift that frequency to the world. And it isn't on anything that you do, it's just you being in this field of possibilities, being you, receiving from everything and everyone around you, all the beings of light and all the light beings and all of your spiritual team and all the earth keeper spirits and magical creatures, they do exist. They don't just exist in our minds and our in our imaginations. They exist. You are one of those magical creatures. And if you're constantly denying that they exist, then you can con you constantly are denying that you exist, that you are magical everywhere where you have not been willing or able to see your own magic as it is. <laughs> it won't look like anybody else's, by the way. <laughs> where you destroy and then create all the places where you cannot perceive, nor be, and receive it with total ease. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 all men, trans, bad, bad, bad. Please go to theclearingstatement.com for more information on the clearing statement if you don't have it already. Allow yourself to be that molecule of possibility that blows along with the wind, just like the seeds of a dandelion or the seeds of a cottonwood tree and how they blow everywhere. Cottonwood trees are so beautiful, they 
have so many seeds that literally when they fall to the ground it looks like snow on the ground in summer. Can you be, would you be willing to be that seed of possibility that maybe just touches somebody's cheek in a light breeze that helps them know that for a moment they're not alone, for a moment they've got this, for a moment they too are magic. And the more that you recognize that you are magic, that you are a miracle walking, a true miracle walking, others too will see it and begin to believe it for themselves. That is how you be you and change the world. Allowing yourself to just be that ripple, that seed, that light breeze. That brings your consciousness back and includes your entire body in your being. Allowing yourself to be the new seed of possibility, the new drop in the ocean that is a miracle. Kelly says, it just let go of stuff that I've been carrying around for 30 plus years. What else is possible now, I wonder. I wonder, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being you. Thank you for being here. I adore you guys so much. So grateful. Have a magical week. I'll see you next, next week.